What's going on everybody? Happy New Year's and welcome back to the Passion Bill YouTube channel. I hope you guys all had a great holiday season and spent it with the ones you care about most. I'm not gonna lie, it's been a rough couple weeks for me and my family. Uh, my girlfriend is on day 12 currently of COVID. I'm currently on day six and my son's currently on day four. He's recovering much quicker than we are, but uh, today is like the first day I've had a little bit of I don't know energy to just to get out of the house and just do something so I wanted to stay on top of my upload schedule this year and uh, I'll be uploading every Monday 12 o'clock Eastern Standard Time but uh, guys please bear with me today if my energy just doesn't seem as high as it usually is because like I said I'm currently going through it and it sucks but uh, today we're gonna be talking about the GSXR front end conversion for the SV650s. Now this is relevant for the first and second generation models from 1999 to 2002 for the first gens and then from 2003 to 2009 for the second gen. So I'll be going uh, over all the parts in depth of what you would need to do this entire conversion. And uh, like I said, guys, just bear with me because uh, I'm going through it right now. But anyway, without further ado, let's get today's video started. All right, so first things first, let's talk about forks. Obviously, these are the main component in this entire front end conversion. So these right here are off of a 2004 to 2005 GSXR 600 750. You can use other model year GSXR forks, but these are the common go-to options. Up next, we're gonna talk about brakes. So these brakes right here are actually not GSXR brakes. These are actually off of a Yamaha R6. Now, these right here bolt directly to the GSXR front forks. Um, you will need to get a spacer like the ones you can see on the bottom of these calipers, but these calipers are not necessary. You can use, and plenty of other people do use, the GSXR factory front calipers. They work perfectly fine, and uh, honestly, in my opinion, I think they look a lot more aesthetically pleasing than these do. However, these do perform a lot better. Up next, we're gonna talk about brake lines. So these right here are stainless braided lines. Once again, not necessary, but they do provide a uh, firmer uh, feedback in the brake lever when you are braking. They do not flex like rubber lines do, and uh, I honestly prefer stainless braided lines over rubber lines any day. However, you can reuse your rubber, braid, uh, your rubber lines um, for this conversion. Up next, we're gonna talk about the uh, triple tree assembly. So this right here, is the upper and lower triple tree assembly from the 0405 GSXR 600 750. Uh, you will need this entire assembly right there. And um, the good thing about this, it actually keeps your ignition switch in the factory position and allows you to reuse your factory SV650 ignition switch as well. Up next, we got the clip-ons. You will not be able to reuse your SV clip-ons. You will need to source a set of GSXR clip-ons due to the larger fork diameter. Uh, these will accommodate for that. This right here is a GSXR steering damper. This isn't necessary either. However, um, since you are gonna be doing this entire conversion, might as well just go ahead and source yourself one. You will need to make a custom bracket to make it fit, but other than that, that's pretty easy to do. Uh, after that, we have the GSXR front fender. Once again, another optional item. Now, this right here is an optional item that I think that everyone should keep. Um, the GSXR front fender, I feel like it flows way better with the GSXR front end. Obviously, one, because it does bolt directly to the front forks, and two, it just, honestly, I just think it looks a lot better than the SV fender when you're doing this swap. Um, the SV fender can be used, however, you will need to uh, make a custom set of brackets to actually make it adapt from the fender to the forks. And uh, sometimes I feel like it looks a little odd in, that, uh, in the swap. So um, for the sake of just keeping things looking good, I suggest just going with the GSXR front fender. They are relatively affordable. Now the last components in this swap are gonna be the wheel, axle, and speed sensor. Now you are gonna need a GSXR front wheel because the GSXR front axle is significantly beefier than the SV650 front axle. Now when you do this conversion, the front wheel will no longer allow you to use your OEM speed sensor from the SV650. So to fix that, what you're gonna have to do is source yourself a Hall effect sensor like this one right here. You're gonna have to also source some rare earth magnets. You're gonna have to break those rare earth magnets down and you're gonna have to actually JB weld them into these small holes right there. And then you're gonna have to take this sensor, build a bracket like this one right here. And uh, I believe this was mounted within this little fender 
and you're gonna have to have it hover over those holes so this will be your new speed sensor pickup and it'll work just like your factory one did uh, you will have to splice it into your factory speed sensor pigtail and um, that's how you will have your speed sensor um, work and your speedometer work properly. Now there's another option that you guys can do to make your speed sensor work so you don't have to do all this work right here. And uh, supposedly I think you can actually take your factory speed sensor and relocate it to your rear wheel. I'm not too familiar with that conversion but I'm pretty sure there is a video on YouTube that shows you how to do that. So if you don't wanna do this, you have another option for your speed sensor as well. So um, that right there summed up is pretty much the GSXR uh, front end suspension parts guide for the SV650. Now, the one thing I will say about this front end conversion is that if you are looking for a stiffer front end because you are a heavier rider, this is not something that's necessary to do. You can actually make your front SV650 factory suspension work with your weight uh, by just rebuilding it, having it sprung to your weight and having heavier oil added and you'll have a much more comfortable ride uh, without having to do this entire conversion. Now, I will say this is that the SV650 factory suspension does not have as many points of adjustability like the GSXR suspension does and that's what makes the suspension reign supreme. Also, the fact is it is inverted and uh, inverted forks are less prone to bends when you drop your bike or get into an accident. And um, they also just, they, they look way better aesthetically than the, uh, the standard fork option on the SV650. So other than that though, guys, this is a very, very cool swap. Um, it makes your SV650 look significantly beefier than it does from factory. And honestly, I mean, I highly recommend this to anybody that actually knows why they're doing this, not just doing it for a uh, cool factor or because they think that it's gonna be uh, stiffer suspension for their SV because um, even if you are 200, 250 pounds, you are still gonna need to have these forks rebuilt, sprung to your weight, have heavier oil added to make it a comfortable ride for you as well. But the extra points of adjustability are always a plus and like I said, they just look way better aesthetically. So. Anyway, guys, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up for me. Also, if you haven't already, smash the subscribe button. We are literally like 90 subscribers away from 2,000 subs. But until the next time, guys, I'll see you then. Peace.